What do you think, Kubi KB283, very slender, very lightweight. Really nice design, I like this. And of course, my buddy Max is the designer on this. It's titanium, comes in different colors, Aus 10 blade. Uh, the Aus 10 we checked was a 61.1 HRC, which was the Raven and the Drake. So they're cooking them. They're definitely cooking them. Uh, nice, very slender. Here's your lockup on this. Uh, 25 to 30 percent. Good positive lock on there. You've got jimping on the top of the blade up here. You've got a little choil here for sharpening. Uh, blade design makes sense. Piercing, slicing, not not a problem there. And this this uh, little swedge here kind of comes down reinforces that tip so it's not so fragile backspacer almost full length on this it's titanium and a milled titanium pocket clip just one screw there and the pivot hardened steel insert ceramic uh, bearings and we'll take it apart take a look to confirm that and uh, jimping on the flipper tab flipper tabs not unsightly not too large centered no lock rock no blade play on this knife uh, comes in a box it was $99 but use love them knives as uh, the discount code and get 10% off should get you around $89 for this. And here's the zipper pouch. Microfiber cloth. The card. With the information. And of course. In a sealed. And I cut the top off of this. A sealed plastic sleeve. Goes in the zipper pouch. You have another pouch on the other side. To hold whatever else you want to put. Good solid pouch. And that is some tough stuff right there. Yeah. So, super lightweight. And how lightweight is it? Well, I'll tell you. 2.4 ounces. How insane is that? Bug out beater? 68.4 grams. Light enough? Hey, this is no plastic handle knife with it little nothing blade this is titanium so that's that's something to get to that weight and how big is it well the bug outs what 3.2 inch blade so let's try and get our tape measure hooked up here 3.25 inch 82 millimeter 18 and a half centimeters at uh, seven and a quarter inches overall Let's do some measuring. Uh, 12 millimeters, 0.47 thick, and 0.12 at 3 millimeter blade stock. Makes sense. It's nice contoured titanium. Fit and finish feels pretty good on this. Uh, no billboarding on the front. Yeah, you got Max, his little logo on the back, and the Aus 10, so you got that. Otherwise, just their their logo on the pivot. Let's see if this will cut. Okay. Okay. That's good. Fine. Sharp out of the box. Looks like some kind of edge on there, for sure. Mm, um, ergos are fine, and I'm getting all my fingers on here. But yeah, uh, is this a hot spot? No, not really. And look at the way it's laid down there. So, no. Not at all. Reverse grip. Fine. That's comfortable as well. Uh, it's not drop shutty. Maybe we'll try and uh, adjust that pivot a little bit on reassembly. But it's a very light blade. So it does drop like that. Uh, the detent is appropriate. I wouldn't want it any harder. But I can fail it. 
but a pretty lazy flip kicks it out it snaps right out there probably a four and a half to a five somewhere in the there in that detent scale of mine design flows nicely not a problem there and let's see how blade to handle length is well you got this wrap around backspace sir yeah you're pretty good you're pretty good there and with that backspacer in place you don't have any chance of touching that blade carrying it should carry nicely super light yet it's not a tiny blade and we got that we got one more I push and turn very in small increments just to break it loose. But yeah, that was that was a bit on there. It did break free though. This is going to be fun to pop apart because you have such a long backspacer and if there's locators in here, the fitment's tight. And that's why we bring our little plastic tool to loosen things up there we go yet not scratch and there's the lock bar with the hardened steel insert detent ball over travel stop and there's your internal blade stop travel there and of course I was looking for the steel washer which came out right on top of these bearings here and they are indeed ceramic bearings here's your detent track let's go and take that off there's your uh, ceramics right there and there's your steel washer on the other side you can see these this pivot is round but uh, that is nice they have really weight relieved scale for sure and here's your backspacer so that can be a little bit of a job popping this apart when you have such a long backspacer just use something plastic or wood that won't scar things up so let's reassemble this and see if we can coax out just a little smear of lube there bearing just a tiny micro drop in a couple of places here uh, put the blade on maybe hit this detent track a bit this put the bearings down and pop it back together shouldn't take too much and no that snapped right down not a problem put this on here pivot screw in place and we're enough and here's the pocket clip with that screw And we're not going to tighten this as tight as it was, that's for sure. That's enough. So we're good. Right back where we started. Take care. Be safe. And you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.